A tiny house to house New Zealanders was a big ask. I really like that. It's got a little bit of style to it. It looks quite dynamic. But it was a challenge Stan Scott embraced. Look at this, mate. The non-stop hard slog was relentless, but immensely rewarding. Ooh, looking good, mate. And it's time to see if New Zealand is on board. I just can't wait for people to get in it and have a look. <laughs> The big day is finally here. Today, for the first time, Kiwis will get to see the tiny house that was purpose-built with them in mind. Travelling the tiny house across Auckland, Stan and I will gauge reactions on the spot as people decide for themselves whether living small is indeed the new frontier of home ownership. Stan, how are you, mate? Hey, George. So good to see you. Yeah, you too, mate. I tell you what, this looks absolutely fantastic. Yeah, I absolutely love it. Do you know what? I know it's a tiny house, and it's not the biggest dimensions in the world, but actually when it's built, it looks a lot bigger than I thought it would be. Now that we've finished it, it's actually surprised me how much room there is as well. And I like the little touches, that kind of nice steep angle. It makes it look really sharp, quite dynamic. Well, in the building trade, we call that architecture, right? <laughs> <laughs> the little architectural touch. Should we go inside and have a look? Yeah, mate. Cool. Oh, man. This feels really big, and it's mainly because of that height. It is, mate. And having a three-metre stud height down the back here, it really feels so open and spacious. It just, just feels right. You've got the balance of all the spaces spot on. The thing is, everything is in here, right? You know, you've got your kitchen, your toilet and your shower. Everything is generous size. We've got a king bed at the top here, and we've got a heap of space for sitting around. All the plywood is affordable, it's strong and lightweight. And I like the fact it's been whitewashed, because it just lifts the whole space. It makes it that little bit lighter and brighter, doesn't it? I'm looking around, Stan, there's been one or two design changes during the build. Your words have been resonating through my head the whole time, mate. You said maximise the space, you know. So originally that wall was supposed to go all the way to the ceiling. I decided to throw a floor in there and I've thrown up a king single. That is genius. And you've got loads of storage designed in as well, yeah? Yep, all these lift up. Oh, fantastic. I absolutely love this table that you've built because it's got that cheeky little angle all the way around, which just reflects that lovely angle that you've got on the back of the tiny house. Like you said from the beginning, make sure you concentrate on the storage. Yeah, and you've got it everywhere. I mean, there's loads of room here, storage cupboards up there, great sized kitchen, and there's been no compromise on the shower room whatsoever. Standard shower cubicle, which works really well in that corner. Storage again, which is brilliant, and decent ceiling height. Even for you, it's actually not a bad height, really, is it? I'll tell you what, Stan, this master bed is a fantastic size. Uh, this one's not too bad either, mate. Just the right size for me. Do you know what, mate? That's actually massive for you. <laughs> Cheeky. You've managed to turn it into a fantastic two-bedroom tiny house with an option of having a third bedroom down here Absolutely. if you really wanted to. Well, you know what, Stan? You have done it. You have created a very affordable, stylish, beautiful tiny house that I love, but the big question is, will New Zealanders love it? I've worked my guts out on this, mate, so I really hope so, eh? <laughs> I'm sure they will, now. Yeah. I'm sure they will. Well, I am really excited about showing the public. I'm pretty confident in our design and the way we've laid it out. I just can't wait for people to get in it and have a look. Hey, thanks very much, everyone, for coming on this really hot day. We are super proud of this little building, and we're even more proud to have George Clark over all the way from England. I hope you like our tiny little place. Um, enjoy today. Thanks so much for coming along. Come on, Anne. Nice to see you. You all right? You can keep your bottles of gin in there. Exactly. <laughs> We're really excited about the small house movement, so we're interested to see what it's like inside. Oh, oh my gosh, she's designed her own tiny house. <laughs> That's fantastic. Thank That's great. You. Come on in. Have a look. I really loved it, actually. I want to build one myself, so it's kind of awesome to actually see one in person. I was really impressed with how much they got in the small space, with putting things in cupboards or behind doors or even under the table. I feel inspired, definitely. The tiny house is magnificent. It's very TARDIS-like, tons of room, 
I like the fact there was a composting toilet. The double bed up the top there had room either side of the bed. Good size shower. Brilliant. It doesn't feel crap, does it? Loved it, yeah. The outside of it, just with a few of the angles on the roof and the front of it, broke up the box look, so it looked great from the outside. Yeah, like that sort of retro lines. I don't know, sort of something a bit different about it. We've driven up from Tokarara today. Yeah, amazing opportunity to be able to see a tiny house and to see George Clark, so yeah. it was worth the drive. I love the tiny house. The cost of living nowadays is really expensive, so this gives you a really good option. My husband and I have a one and a half year old, and it gives me inspiration, looking forward to the future and what is a possibility. The comments have all been really positive. A lot of people are saying, I, I either want to build one or I want one built, or I want an alternative to a caravan, or I want an alternative to a sleep out. So people are taking out different ideas. Crowds of people have left the Auburn home feeling inspired. And the word is spreading. At the next location, the queue is already stacked. Morning, everyone. Morning. Welcome to Mitre 10, to look at the Mitre 10 house. Who wants to see it? Yeah. Excellent, come on in. So nice and small, it's about seven and a bit metres long, just over two and a half metres wide. Complies with all the height restrictions and things for transport. So you've got lovely ceiling height in here, which is fantastic. I think that's the surprising thing, even though it might feel a bit narrow that way, it's all about having that fantastic extra height. We've even sloped the ceiling on it a bit, so you get the master bedroom. And then in the middle, amazingly, we've got a massive kitchen. It's very rare that you see a kitchen that big in a tiny house, but it works. It's light, isn't it? It is. Yeah. It's spacious, isn't it? Yeah, you think it wouldn't be, but it actually is. I think the whole idea of minimal living makes so much sense. The idea of having less and having more freedom, I think it's a great thing. It's really been inspirational to look at what sort of materials you can purchase yourself and that it can actually be done um, in New Zealand as well. I really was inspired by the idea that it was on a trailer. That's really exciting that you can actually get something yeah. so portable for such a low cost as well. Hi, look at this. Yeah, it's got a king size bed up top and a king Whoa. single over here. Hi. Yeah. Tino a tahua te whare nei, a hakua he iti, he tino mi haro rawa. Do you like it? Yeah, it's beautiful. What do you think? Is it good? Enthusiasm for the tiny house is at a peak. Our final location reveals hundreds of Kiwis are lining up to experience their very own slice of the small life. I think it it's works. great. Deck out the front, there's endless opportunities to make it really quite livable. What do you think? Double glazed, I'll have one. Thanks. You'll have one? Yes. Excellent. Yeah. I'm currently designing my own house because it's a way that I can get a house without having to pay for a mortgage, and I'm a builder myself. I'm very inspired by what I've seen today. It's quite eye-opening for people that wouldn't even imagine that they could get so much into such a space. I, I love it. Yeah, I can't yeah. say that anymore. I just love it. I think there's a real future for tiny houses in New Zealand. Kiwis tend to be the type that just gets stuck in. Real DIY, do-it-yourself attitude. And they're quite flexible with their living options as well. And with the prices going up, tiny houses, I reckon they're going to be huge yeah. in New Zealand. Yeah, yeah. Really should big. be. Building small, building affordable, opens up so many possibilities for aspiring homeowners. Now, I've been lucky enough to visit many tiny houses in my time, but today, we flipped that around. This project was all about bringing a tiny house to the people, inspiring them as to what can be achieved. And you know what? They absolutely loved it. 